Holy cow! Guys, you can do this. <laughs> Are juicy. I do not have anger management issues. I don't need to see anybody. I don't need to talk. I don't need to read a book. Oh, hi everybody. <laughs> it's Mark Gill from Marks on the Grill. How you doing guys? All right, we are just uh, getting towards the end of a little bit of our prep work here. There we go. And we've almost got our pork cutlet sandwich decimated and unrecognizable. There we go. All right, good. Ah, how's everybody doing? Uh, listen, we're going a little bit early today because uh, I don't know what part of the country you're in, but here in Florida, they're calling for some nasty stuff later. So I figured, you know, instead of uh, one of the dinner type of things we were going to do later today, let's instead do something fun for lunch. So uh, we're gonna do, uh, what are we gonna do today? We've got uh, some Hoosier style uh, pork cutlet sandwiches. Oh man, these are gonna be good. I like these. And then uh, we've also got, and this is a big deal for me, man. The first time I saw these here because I grew up on the prairies, right? Soft shelled crab sandwiches. So we, uh, we got, uh, broke out our Blackstone today. Uh, we didn't uh, take the big fryer out uh, because it was a bit of overkill for a couple of crabs. Uh, so we're gonna have our air fryer going here. That'll be fun. There we go. Let's get that started on some uh, a little side dish for us. Our oil is the right temperature. Been waiting for that. Let's go ahead and make sure that this is right where it should be. Yep, everything's going well. Perfect. So before we get too far here, I've learned my lesson a million times. What's that? Audio. Audio. <laughs> That's the lesson I learned, right? There we go. Everything's good there. Hey, Mark, how's it going, buddy? Uh, Mom is watching as always. I, I love that. That's pretty cool that mom watches. You know, we, we get to cook together now, that's fun. All right, there we go. And let's go ahead and take this right there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get these things uh, breaded. So we got a kind of a simple egg wash and some flour and some seasoning. So let's go ahead and do that. Da, da, da. So where is everyone watching from today? Anything big going on? Uh, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna do our pork. So we're gonna use that seasoning. Uh, we're getting close to the weekend. Anybody got any big, uh, big grilling plans coming? Any big things happening? Do we have any big things happening? Kids. Kids. We have kids happening. There's always kids happening. All right, let's take this like this. Grab these spoons here. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our pork cutlets ready. Oh, by the way, a little hint from you. No matter what you do in the breading, no matter what you do in the, uh, the um, things you're going to dip it in, if you want a little extra spice and kick in these, season them at this level of prep all right go ahead. Oh, we're, we're close to the airport there's lots of action today i don't know what's going on so we're gonna have some planes flying overhead there we go let's get those out like that bum, bum, bum. all right who we got there corey how's it going matt davis how's it going buddy michael phillips all right very cool pass it in maryland they see maryland in there Ooh, you're gonna like what we're doing today there we go nice so now let's go ahead and we're gonna take that in the flour right, like there like that and then into the egg and then we absolutely don't have this in the right order two three. this is terrible we'll clean up this way there we are this is all the all the prep work we never do <laughs> there we go let's get this nice and coated there we are now make sure that you have bowls that are too small there <laughs> you know lord know that makes it easier and we'll do it that way there we go make sure she's covered up nice by the way the uh the way you do these is go ahead and get a uh, uh like a pork loin right there uh you can find them six seven eight bucks or at the store a lot of times uh let's do this there we go you can find them on sale a lot uh you can get them seasoned unseasoned really doesn't matter that much but the cool thing is if you get one that's about a pound and a half you're probably going to get, I don't know, four or five of these like this, which is, you know, that's not bad. It's a cheap way to feed people. There we go. And it's kind of a treat. That's usually not something that you, you wander into until you hit a, you know, hit a restaurant and you do like a chicken fried thing, something like that. Easy things to do at home. Super, super easy. I keep saying that, you know, this, uh, this kind of cooking is getting more and more popular because we start figuring out that some of these dishes that we never thought we could do ourselves are not that hard. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this seasoning out of the way. I'm going to keep the flour. There we are. And it's hot here, by the way. It's very hot. Where you are in the country. But Florida's starting that turn, man. The air's starting to get heavy. 
It's starting to get damp out here. It's starting to get moist. Oh, I hate that word. It's moist. It's moist. It's moist in Florida. <laughs> Ew. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and switch up the egg wash because uh, as much as I like pork and as much as I like crab, I do not like crab flavored pork and I do not like pork flavored crab. I ab, but I <laughs> there's, there's a kid's book there somewhere. So the breading we're going to use for the crab is just one of those uh, fish fries. You find them at any one of the stores, any grocery store is going to have them. Uh, if you're camping, tailgating, doing something like this, uh, chances are your, uh, your, your, your little store fry. This is all you do this with. If you want to add a little bit of I'm not getting paid by them, Old Bay, I just like it. <laughs> you can go ahead and do that. What else we got going here? Uh, Mum says, opening the cottage in PEI for the summer. Very cool. Philippe says, my weekend. It's huge here in San Diego. I'll bet your weather's nicer than mine. Boy, oh boy. Are we dark? I think we're dark. Maybe, maybe, yeah. Crank the light up a little bit. Although, if we start to wash out here, let's, uh, let's be careful of that. So, now this is where it's kind of treat time, man. This is where we're going to do something a little bit different and out of the ordinary. So, let me go ahead and get into my chill chest. Listen, if you don't have an outdoor fridge, like I don't right now, um, these chill chests, these insulated coolers are a great solution especially if you're camping they're they're portable they go up they down they, they fold they fold flat they're really nice so guys have a look here oh this is so cool like i said moving here from the prairies this is one of these things and it's like you see this on the menu you're like soft well what the heck is that a soft crowd really the whole thing they just fry the whole thing you eat the whole thing ew but then they're fantastic man i tell you some of the treats that i've had since i got here so yeah you just buy them like this these came frozen and you're going to kind of bread them the exact same way they're going to go in here now i have seen uh so oh no i forgot the flour first well you know what uh we're fine all right you know what we're going to find a before and after here because i don't want to make some mud out of flour now <laughs> let's go ahead and bread them up in here now to be honest with you i've seen some people uh, uh not even do the um the uh, egg wash and they just go ahead and, and dip it in, you know, just kind of right like that. I've also seen some of these guys uh, clean these live and then do it. Yeah, that's not, that's not my thing, i got to tell you. All right, so let's go ahead and put him there. Oh, don't you look fun? There we go. And make sure you're dusted off real nice. There we go. Uh, when I took one of these out of the package, one of the legs fell off. And I thought, oh, no, here we go. I'm going to have to, like, be super careful with them. But it only happened once. It was okay. And these were not that expensive, were they? Do you remember? They weren't that bad. Not at all. So now this one. Now we'll have one of those before and after. Do you want to put it in flour or does it really matter? <laughs> we'll remember to do it right this time. There we go. We are live here, guys. No second takes. Uh, if you watch our show, you know that. Uh, if, uh, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen. That's it. That's all. We burn this beyond recognition. Well, that's just what we do. <laughs> so now in the egg wash. There we go. And let's get this seasoned up. Oh, yeah. I figure that's just going to make for a little bit of a thicker breading. There we are. And let's get them all in there like this this is so cool like i said this is one of those things i thought it was one of those delicacies you only get them at a restaurant seafood restaurant these were only uh i think five six bucks each not much to them man so there we go we got everything bread and happy i've made a giant mess of my countertop and my hands are gross so we are done this part <laughs> that's why we come up with all kinds of wet towels here we are da, da, da. oh by the way uh the last couple of weeks we've given away some fun stuff here on the show we gave away our, our grill mats again and we've got some more stuff coming up that we want to uh uh, get in your hands. Maybe we've uh, you start finding some of these big spatulas lying around, all that kind of stuff. Uh, the cool thing is uh, the, the way we uh, give our prizes away, and the way we uh, you know know that you're hanging out and watching and kind of enjoying what we're doing is uh, you know we love seeing those comments down below. You know where you're watching from. If you've got an idea for the show, if you if you see something we're doing right, wrong, otherwise, always let us know, guys. We are always up for chit chatting with you guys any way we can. All right. So go ahead and leave that little uh, uh, message down there. Whatever you want to say. Oh, also. Uh, there's a little share button and if i'm looking at my screen i think it's there i think when you press that you get to invite all your friends to these parties so we share lots of cool recipes back here uh sometimes we got the kids helping out so now i've had this oil going for a good amount of time i think we're okay <laughs> it's super hot uh so i'm trying to think what we should get going first i think everything's going to cook kind of at about the same time don't you yeah. yeah so let's go ahead and let's get the pork 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 all right let's get the pork one so here's what we want to do guys we got our, our, our black stone going here uh this you could do on a grill i suppose but i'm not sure how easy that would be um so i think what you want to do here because we're not going to use a, a pan or a deep fryer is you kind of want you know you I always tell you oil the grill always 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 oil the grill but with something like ghee like i said uh you, you know it, it ups that smoke point for you so it's going to make things a little bit more forgiving you want to concentrate 
uh, where you're at there because you know the side walls are frying pan you want to get that frying action so get it right in there like that so that's see that that's a light fry going which is exactly what we want we don't want these cook too darn fast let me tell you that much so there we go that's the cool thing about uh, um, these type of things where you get the uh, different burners different grills you got all that control over the heat this is where it kind of really comes into play so let's go ahead and get you going there plus ghee just smells great I love the way ghee smells I really do uh, okay so here we go let's get some uh, all right let's get the crab going oh See, I've never made the crab before, okay? This I've done like in the past. We'll, uh, we'll turn this up just a little. There we go. But this is new for me, so, uh, well, wish us luck. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, no. There. Well, you're happy enough in there. Okay, there we go. Uh oh, it's gonna hit that moisture in a second that's inside. There we are. Okay, you get in there. Woo! Okay, so dropping them from a height is probably not the way I would recommend doing that again. There we go. So they're, uh, God, they're going to do just fine. They're going to do just fine. Oh, there's that moisture in that one. So now what we want to do is get our buns of toast in. I think we're going to do the uh, pork cutlets on the onion buns, and then we'll do the, uh, there we go. Whoa, what's happening there? Uh-oh, he's going to explode. Look out. It's an angry crab. It's an angry crab. All right, here. You calm down and we turn you over. How about you? There we go. Oh, yeah, this is fun. All right, so let's get our buns toasting. Ta -da. It's always nice to have this much space. There we go. And we're also fighting the wind today, I'll tell you, man. Always something. That's uh, You got to get to know your backyard. You got to get to know your grills because sometimes wind is a real, uh, real pain in the butt. Boy, you want to get yourself in a... Uh, Kind of a, maybe a more shaded spot, a little bit more of a of an isolated area if you at all can, especially if you're using like an open flame charcoal grill or something like this. You know, the wind can blow at those flames and uh, and make a difference. So if you've got a strategic spot to put them out of the window a little bit, you get a little bit more consistent with things here. So here we go. All right. A lot of that's just me rambling on while we move from step to step. Oh, this guy here, it's an angry crab. He's angry, he's bitter. <laughs> all right all right that means i'm gonna eat you first there we go uh -oh, a little bit a little bit of the thing came off all right that's that's what the top bun's for <laughs> how are we doing here i think we're doing well enough here to give this a flip so what i want to do is check these buns and again we've got this on a bit lower of a temperature i didn't crank this today because i wanted to make sure we had a lot more control over that all right so that's a big deal so now remember, you got a lot of space to work with here. You don't have to flip the foods right back in the exact same spot that they're in. You can go ahead and get a fresh, hot spot of your, uh, spot of your griddle, and it's just kind of uh, almost like a deep fryer. You're in that, that fresh, hot oil. So there you go. Look at that. Perfect. Woo! I'm loving this. Oh, that's cool. Very nice. Okay, so let's go ahead. And we got these uh, buns toasting yet? Those are looking great. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Top, bottom, let's get those over there. Top, bottom, let's get those over there. And perfect, ooh, fresh Kaiser buns. Is there anything better? There we are, there we are. So you are gently boiling away. Thank you very much. And then what I'm gonna do, get a good shot of that, honey. That's really pretty, really, really pretty. Okay, there we go, lovely. So we've got now some paper towel to get this stuff out on. Oh yeah. This is actually a suggestion from the boy. We were looking up sandwiches and we're like, oh, what can we do, what can we do? And he's like, I love soft shell crab sandwiches. We haven't done one of those. And I'm like, you sir are correct. So let's go ahead and do that. So while that's gonna finish up on both sides, we got a few seconds. Let's go ahead and dress our buns. Uh -huh. Alrighty, so we got the onion ones here, just like that. Okay, there we go. We got those ones there, those ones there. All right, so, uh, oh, spoons. That's what I need. I need some spoons. I moved all my spoons. So now Maryland style, I'm sorry, uh, Hoosier style has just a lot to do with the kind of uh, toppings that you put on this. So on both buns, on each side, you're going to put a little mustard, 
and mayo. This is for the uh, this is for the pork. There we go. Just like that. You give that a spread, that a spread, that a spread, that a spread. Okay. The spoons are always a bad idea. You know what I mean? Oh. No. Well, that's dip. Oh. <laughs> that's funny. Mayonnaise. There we go. So I don't want to get the spoon too dirty right off the bat. Two, three, those. Perfect. All right. Oh, these are going to be so good. Go. Just like that. Now, let's get a little bit of our on the bottoms. Lettuce, like that. And then some tomatoes. There we go. And I think I'm going to go and pull that crab right out of there because I think it's ready. And I don't want to overcook those. So let's take that. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You were a problem from the start, weren't you? Yeah, you were. Yeah, the legs popping off. You were trouble. You were trouble. You, though, were a very cooperative little crab. Oh, that's so cool. I love that, man. All right, so let's leave that there for a second, finish dressing our buns. What do you got here? Jeff LaFoe, I've not eaten your main, making me drool, bellies growling. I love that. We always like making people hungry. All right, what else we got going? Oh, like I was saying, guys, uh, leave that comment below. Uh, share our page. Uh, tag a friend. Uh, leave a suggestion, any of that kind of stuff. Uh, we keep an eye. And every now and then, actually we do it quite a bit, we pull out a name, we send you something on us. And, and guys, uh, a couple of fun things that are coming up this weekend. Oh, by the way, uh, when it comes to the uh, crab, real simple, you guys, tartar sauce, top and bottom. That is that's all you really want on one of these uh, traditional soft shell crab sandwiches. You know, leave, leave the cheese out of the equation. You don't need it right now. You don't need the lettuce and tomato on these. That is all about the crab. That's all it's doing. There we go. All right, perfect. So what was I saying? Coming up? Coming up. Uh, listen, hit that notification button, guys, because we are about to head to Las Vegas next week for the National uh, Houseware Show, or no, Hardware Show, National Hardware Show. Uh, all kinds of new innovations in grilling, uh, different uh, cooking styles, all kinds of fun accessories are, uh, are going to be there. I got to tell you, man, we are so, so, so looking forward to that trip. Uh, it's uh, a little bit of anniversary wrapped up in the middle there, isn't it? That's going to be kind of fun. So we got, uh, we got a pretty cool week planned, man. We're excited. All right, so how are we looking here? I think our pork is probably ready. Let's have a peek. Oh, yeah, that's what I was waiting for. So here's the cool thing about, uh, about working with pork now. Gone are the days where you have to cook this to the consistency of a piece of cardboard. You know what I'm saying? Uh, now, uh, you know, pork at, uh, you know, 140, everybody's happy with, 145. Oh, you know what? Let's do it this way, like that. There we are. And you can kind of get a little bit juicier results out because, like I said, you don't have to cook the holy life out of them. There we are. Okay. No, did I do that again? Yeah, whatever. Okay, so there we go. There we go. Now we want to just take our pickles like this, like that. And there is our Hoosier style <laughs> pork cutlet sandwich. There's one there. And here is one there on the onion bun. I love those. That is going to be tasty. We did a little uh, little land and sea today. We had uh, we had some some picky lunch folk coming over. Some really wanted the uh, the crab, so we planned for that. And then we found out that a couple of more people were coming uh, got an allergy to seafood. So I pounded out my frustrations on the pork at the beginning of the show in case you caught that. <laughs> and uh, you know what? Now here we are, fast, super easy, and one of these dishes that wows a crowd, which is very cool. There we go. You always want that, and they taste. Amazing. So there's one, and we cover up our little accident there, like every good grill master does. <laughs> and there, there's our cooperative fella right there. How you doing? And there is that one. Perfect. Let me set this back here. We are going to take a bite of these guys. How can we not? There we are. There we are. And I think we've got our side dish done over here. Let me go ahead and turn our grill off. So guys, as always, uh, the point back here is you can do this. This is not hard. This is like just a couple of pieces of equipment or adapting to the equipment that you have, taking a little bit of a chance and doing things that are a bit out of your comfort zone. And I gotta tell you something, man, just follow the directions, whatever it is you're trying to do, just take that little bit of extra time, make sure you got that measurement right. Tell you, make sure you check that temperature. Temperature's important. And bottom line is guys, before no time at all, this is for lunch. And I'll tell you, boy, I love, love, love serving this kind of food because the reaction that's, you know, that they get is just out of this world. That's what Mark and the Girl is all about, guys. Just uh, you know, finding some new creations, testing them out, having some fun, letting us know how it went for everybody. So let's go ahead. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Let's have a look here. 
guys, that's pretty nice. Hey, okay, get on in here. I like this. Let's get a good look at this. I can check on my uh, my TV behind there. We got this in a good light. Oh, yeah. There it is. Oh yeah, that is a lovely sandwich. I need to come in here. There we go. All right, so the one with the bite mark in it is mine. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, that's juicy. The pork was juicy. That's cool. Mmm. Wow. Holy cow. That's incredible. I'll try that. All right. Now, you dogged me the whole time, so I'm taking a bite out of you first, man. This is cool. This is a delicacy. This is like, I got to tell you, either one of these sandwiches, 16, 17, 18 bucks at lunchtime. You know what I mean? If you're picking up the tab for three or four people, hello. These crabs were like five, six bucks a piece. The onion rings for three dollars. The pork is, you know, you can do this, man. Do it on the cheap. <laughs> that's so good. Oh my gosh, that's good. Wow. Mmm. Wow, Madeline, you went, oh wow, mmm. You are so right. I'm gonna have another bite of this. I don't usually do two bites before. You wanna try this? Here, seriously. This is crazy. No. Hey, what? You're going to wait for Lori? No. Well, you take one. I'll just stand here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Isn't that good? Delicious. Oh, God. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. A little dip for the onion rings. Trish, if you do me a favor mm -hmm. and just get a nice slow look at that on the way out. Let me, let me roll this into the light. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. There you go. Have a nice look at that. I'm going to wander back. Guys. Thanks very much for joining us for an impromptu lunch here at Marks on the Grill. Uh, we hope you got a kick out of this. I really hope you try this. I got to look at this too. I'm looking at the monitor. Oh my God, look at that. Holy cow. Guys, you can do this. This was not hard. Seriously, you got to try this. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, we want to go eat. We got people going over. My name's Mark Gill. This has been Marks on the Grill. Have yourself a fantastic day. And if you're in Florida, clear water here, roll up the windows, man. See you next time.